Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 15 of my Alpha 17 Season 7 Experimental Let's Play. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so confusing sometimes. And um, today we're going to go out um, and do, do a little bit of exploring. <laughs> uh, we're going to go find the buried supplies and maybe if there's enough time and we're in the right direction, we might hit that, um, uh, the work and stiff tools. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We usually only have enough time for like one thing, but if this buried supply is as easy as the last one, which probably won't be, um, it might be okay. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before we go is I want to I want to grab an iron to repair the shovel if we're there we go oh wow that didn't even repair it all the way up we might want to repair our wrench to repair that up yeah and and the steel pickaxe just in case there so all our tools are up to snuff now and I've cleared up my inventory from <laughs> all my repair work that I did overnight and building and chopping and stuff like that. I did go ahead and queue up in uh, the table saw. I made some of the ramp wedges and the wedge tips. Now the wedge tips weren't frames, they were just blocks, but that's okay. <laughs> so we now have on two sides, I was only able to do two in the time that I had, we now have ramps that we should be able to get up and down. Oh no, it's our hat isn't enough to keep us uh, warm. Oh wow. Okay, so let's let's actually go to the direction of the buried treasure. I don't even know what it looks like. Oh, it looks like it's over here in a section that we haven't explored yet. So that's good. But it's not in the direction of the working stiff, so hmm. Um So we don't really know what what to do about that, but maybe there'll be a working stiff on this, in this town or whatever. Who knows? Let's just head that way, because, um, over the course of the night, I finished out another one of the quarter sections of the base, so now we only have one incomplete section of our base. Oh, no. This is in the wasteland. We're gonna have to be little bit careful. We need to probably wrench a car since I didn't even check the gas level. Oh man, this is so hard to get through here without hitting something. Ugh. Oh, it looks like it's going into the desert, so that's good. Oh, we're not wet and cold anymore. Oh yeah, um, before I forget, I did spend three points in fortitude uh well two points in fortitude the stat and one point in living off the land so our farms should fill up a little bit faster because i i had planned on doing that i know i said something about it but i never actually did it uh because you, i had to put get up to three fortitude to put that second point in living off the land. So yeah, uh, that's, that's what I did. I still have a few points, I think. Yeah, we still have three points left. Um, we made a few levels from the horde. I made a few levels chopping down all the trees and placing all the blocks and upgrading them and whatnot. Oh, now we're hot. Ugh. Um, oh, please don't be on the hill. I don't know, last time the hill was to our benefit, but 
I don't think this hill would be a good hill. I think it's gonna be on the top. Please be on the top, on the top. Oh, I'm pushing down the ship, I swear. It doesn't want to go. Ugh. a horrible place for a treasure. It's horrible. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and pick up our bike. Because I don't think we'll need to... This is a horrible, horrible place. Uh, for a treasure. Absolutely horrible. Okay, let's try to come at it like this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is going to be horrible. It's horrible to do it in a hillside because... Um, uh, because... Usually, if it's level, all you have to do is dig out like two or three layers. Uh, but if it's in a hillside, you may have to dig out more on one side and, and less, well, usually two or three. Uh, but you have to dig out more on another side. I think this is about the middle, so let's go from there. Okay, it looks like right here. <laughs> Probably gonna have to clear a couple of trees, but that'll be okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's go ahead and just punch uh, down some of this stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this tree. It's just, it's in my face. It's being annoying. There we go. Looks like we got a couple of friends. Because you gotta have friends. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Alright. Start clearing up the area a little. Hello. Oh, chin up, mate. Got a couple of guys over here too. So uh, the good thing about putting those points in fortitude is we now have 20 more hit points. So it wasn't, you know. It wasn't, it's not necessarily a waste, it just wasn't like, uh, it had multiple uses. <laughs> like putting those points in fortitude it wasn't ever going to be a waste, it just, it's more useful because it has um, more uses, of course. Got to get the bird's nest, get those eggs. Awesome. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Um, think about here is the middle. Um, a good thing about this area is that it's in the sand. Look, we're not hot right now, so that's good. <laughs> Let's just start digging. Part of it is in the heel, so like I said, we might have to go a little bit deeper on that end. Uh, the good thing is that, well, it's all good. It's all good. There's all good points. <laughs> we can't help it. <laughs> It's hard to see, like, a bad point about digging and getting up, you know, useful. Oh, look at that. On the gravel, we're one-shotting it. What? 
it. Oh, that's awesome. Because it's only 120 hit points on the top. But when we go to the bottom there, I don't even know how many hit points it is. Where did we get dirt from? Is that like the, the surface? I can't get it now. It looks like the surface is giving us a little bit of dirt. Like one every time we hit. So it's giving us like two dirt each one. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we're nearby the supplies. When you get really close, so I think, what if we just... I think it says that on... Oh, there it is, right there. Sweet! Not a whole lot of other stuff in there, but not too shabby. And here's our uh, welcoming wagon. The guys that spawn when you find the treasure. Oh! And now we're hot. Okay, I think we got him. Oh! And look, uh... Oh, we did not kill him. It must have not been a good uh, headshot there. Oh, and that was Chumpa Wumpa. He's just shrugging it off like it wasn't nothing. I mean, it's not. Oh, I meant to. I meant to hit this guy, and I can't for some reason. Of course, he can hit me. No problem hitting me. So there we go. Oh, we're sweltering. Gotta get out of here. Okay, I hope we can place our mini bike down somewhere. Oh, I had it there for a second. Ah! There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we need to drink. Okay, so we did good. Uh, we did not. Let's go turn into the trader and see if he has something else close because maybe if we can go do like a fetch quest or something else as well let's try to get out of this desert as quickly as possible and then we'll uh we'll hop off our bike and eat and drink real quick so i think we need food too oh come on you can do it Let's go see if getting into this wasteland biome will get rid of the heat. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oh, this is a bad, bad plan. We're still hot, but we're not sweltering. I don't really want to jump off <laughs> into in the wasteland in case we're nearby a dog or something I don't see. Okay. Lots of waterworks places. Um, some of these might be neat to check out because I've never been in some of those before. Let's see. Oh, look. This is the road, I think, right here where we what that goes to our trader. I think. Yeah, cuz I see the rows of trees over there. That indicates my home and that must be the trader right up there. Ah, <sighs> uh, back at home in our frozen wasteland. We're gonna drink once we get up here. All right. So we'll just leave our bike there. Hopefully no Zomberts will come and check the mail. Yep, already checked it. Okay. Let's get inside where we're safe and we can look in our inventory and 
Get some food and drink. Uh, cause we're down a little bit over there. Well, let's go ahead and bandage first. We're down a little bit. So our healing isn't wasted. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. And let's drink one more, cause I think we were down a good bit more than normal. Stack up there. All right, Bob, talk Here to you me. Go, friend. Whatever you need. Hmm. Just He's got way. a hunting knife, which we don't really need. Look at that, 2,300 tokens. Oh, that is awesome. But I think I'm gonna take this recog, just because we don't. We can make our own hunting knife. Oh wow, that'd be good to drink up like on a horde night oh it doesn't have a description though oh i guess maybe because it's not the item it's just a link to an item there we go oh look we completed we've completed enough jobs for him and now he's gonna have um new a new tier for us thank you survivor for finishing some of those tasks for me here's a reward for all your hard work come back tomorrow and i will have some harder jobs for you that should be more rewarding um i don't really know that this does anything uh I think I've taken it before and it doesn't tell you what it gives you. I mean, maybe if you don't uh, spec into the, 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 sh the chef line, this is useful, but I've never seen what it actually gives you. But we don't really we have a schematic for a helmet light it might be good to have a backup one of those or should i get this just in case oh, i don't know plus we're gonna get two thousand more coins i'm gonna take the helmet light i think it'll be more useful and let's go ahead and take another job bob seriously he does have a fetch that's 2.4 kilometers away. And I think if we go out and we leave right now, because we're ready, I think if we leave, we could get there, get it done, and come I back. For you. No matter what, I'm grateful All right. for everything. Let me look done. at your inventory. Um, I mean, since we're, since we're so close, we might want to go dump off some of these items, like the, uh, well, let's see where well, There's we're always Shamway up the road, you can try looting. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's in a place that we've never been before, so we don't even know. But going to the house is on the way, so let's go do that very, very quickly and see if we can get up there and get this thing done. Oh, sorry, Bob. <laughs> All right, and let, and this will give us a chance to test out our new ramps. Should I think the one is on this side? Yeah. Oh yes, that's much easier to get. Awesome. So we're not even going to pick the bike up. We're just going to head in and dump off a few things real quick. 
Okay, where's our chest? Dump all that money in there. We're also going to put this helmet light. Oh, we wanted to put this in our shotgun while we're out. Let's do that. Sweet. Okay. A little bit of stuff in here. Boop. So forgot that in there. Um, we got medical supplies here. Ammo. You guys go over there. I think we'll be good on the food, so we're gonna toss these cans away. Um. I think we're going to be okay on space-wise. Let's put that there. This other spot's going to be for a bite when we pick it up, I guess. All right. Let's head out. And I think it'll be beneficial to go down this road. Oh, we need to stop and rinse a car. Let's rinse this car up here real quick. Oh, I forgot to grab the gas. Good thing we haven't looted all the cars. Oh, there's Mr. Chin here. <laughs> Don't go too far, bikey. Oh, I can't wait till we get some more mods and I can see if we ever get to, like, one-shot Mr. Chin. Oh, this is a full car, too. Wow. Alright, here comes the gas. Luckily, uh, it's bikey. It has a very small gas tank. Oh, we attracted another Mr. Chin over here. So, I think the bike can only hold like 100 gas. So... Loot one car will fill this thing up. There we go. We've done just enough time to get Mr. Chin. Oh, he just like went, what? You're an insect buzzing around my face. Oh, and he's still two power attacks. He just took him. What a champ. What a champ. All right, oh, let's fill her up. There we go. We're good to go now. Whoa, what the? Haven't actually been up this way. Uh, this is this is part of the road problems. <laughs> let's just keep going and hope for the best over here yeah okay we're just gonna keep following this road as long as it's going I guess in the same general direction as our quest hopefully we can get there quick fast and in a hurry on our mini bike awesome more frozen wasteland. I'm I'm glad it's uh, frozen wasteland because <laughs> I'm prepared for that. It's it's wet. It looks like our um, our helmet is helping. We're gonna have to get. Um, I really want some more of those uh, mods so I can make some leather boots and actually have armor on my feet as well. Because we just have the cowboy boots, which is only... Oh, this is a wonderful biome. Look. We can actually turn our headlight off, except that that's turning the bike one off and on. This is the biomes I like, because then you don't have to worry as much about your heat and whatnot. How close are we getting? Oh, we are still 
quite a ways away. Oh, man. Alright, we're just gonna keep going down this road. Do, do, do. It's good to see a biome that isn't an extreme biome. Um, you know, like the wastelands, the charred biomes where you have to deal with heat, the desert. Um, and of course, the frozen biome. So it would be good to find like another trader. So I'm hoping maybe if we go to a town a little bit further away, we'll see another trader. That would be awesome. Because I think it's going to be, I mean, it looks like we're in like another metropolis type of situation where the, the towns around us are sort of squished together. Um, so it's hard to tell where there should be, oh, we're going back into a frozen biome, where there should be a trader if there is one in, in the town because the the town is so big all right we're heading back back into the frozen wasteland which is okay because we're at least prepared for that in our um, gear the road is seems to be heading at, at least in the same general direction as we need to be going Looks like we're getting a little bit closer. We might need to turn and just head north. Let's let's see if there are any roads going north. Usually the, especially since this is um, a fetch, it's gonna have to be in a building. So the building would generally have a road going to it, but. I don't see one. Oh, here's the town up here. Let's see if this there's a road that goes to the to the right, to the north. Oh, this Well, this sort of goes there. Sorry, my cat walked in front of me. <laughs> kind of had to wait for her to go by. There's a Firehouse. Oh, another one of those um, joint buildings where where it's like multiple buildings all in one. Um, we should go this way. Oh, we're getting really, really close. I think we went like, oh, it goes into a wasteland. No. Looks like it's... Oh, we're still a little bit away. Alright, it should be one of these houses. Probably this one on the left. There, I see it. Oh, good. Look at that. We might have to uh, snag that. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Alright, let's make a chest. We're not going to double loot this because I just don't have the... We don't have... I don't think we have the time. We're going to put it in this flat area over here. And we're just going to pop some of this stuff. and make a bandage. I'm going to pop some of this stuff that we got from the cars in there. And... Yeah, let's do this. I think that should be good to do most of the gathering, but we're not going to gather right now. <laughs> this is going to be such a confused biome. All right. Looks like we're going into the top-down method. <sighs> okay, we've been—we've actually been in this type of 
place before. I don't like it because we have to jump up to get in here and, and make a noise. Oh, oh, holy crap. That was a feral. Oh my God. What is going on? I think we must have, uh, whoa. Jeez, <laughs> we completely missed and just destroyed the block behind him. Okay, didn't quite. Whoa, he just like fell down there. All right. Okay. I think, um,. Oh no. We wake we woke somebody up. Oh Shh, sleepy bye. I think we woke somebody up out here. There he is. Let me help you. Hello? Can I reach you? Oh, look! <laughs> Cause you gotta have friends! Doo -doo -doo. Window shopping! <laughs> I'm just window shopping. Hello? Is anybody home? Oh, we can't reach him. Let's uh, take a step forward. Hey! Hey, stupid. That's for me to loot. I'm supposed to destroy it, not you. Give me that before you destroy it. Good, good yummy ammo. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna close this up so maybe other zombies won't come in. Uh, we gotta find the supplies. So we wanna go through the dungeon and see if we get close to it. All the good stuff. Um, we might not be able to have enough time to loot up all of this concrete and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I think I would be more interested <laughs> Oh good, we got him. This is the one where we gotta shoot him in the foot. What is it? Why are they green? Oh, she is not dead. She did whack us though. That was not nice. Go ahead and get the suitcase. Oh, good ammo. Okay, so the bad thing about this is we're gonna have to jump up, and we can't we can't freaking fit through there. Oh, just barely, just barely got through there. All right, shh, 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 shh. Oh, we woke somebody up. Oh, we got a, our light on. No wonder we're not doing so well. We're just going to try... Did I pass up the, the supplies? Maybe it's over here. We're getting further and further away. There's something down there. I think I can get it. Yes. A flashlight. Hey, that's still good. A hoodie. All right. Um, I guess we should, we're not really close. 
Dude. Where is this thing? We're getting closer now. Six, five, four, three. Is there a secret cupboard or something? Aha! There we go. And we found... Oh my god! I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Come through. Oh, stupid dog. Awesome, okay. <laughs> stupid dog scared the crap out of me. All right, let's just loot up as much as we can. I see a little doohickey. Oh, we got got guys coming up outside. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, over here. Oh, I missed. Are you coming? Oh, that did not kill her. Respect. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got another suit. Oh! Did you see that? She wiggled right in between those traps. There we go. I think... No, that did not kill him. What is up? I guess it wasn't really a good headshot. So, we gotta hurry. We did finish it. But I would like to get back to the trader. But I really want to loot as much as I can. Uh, now, granted... Looting up all of the concrete and cobblestone isn't going to be as important now. Because we can make our own cement. Oh, two acid! Nice! That's good. It's good to have uh, the ability to make some tires and stuff. So that is awesome. All right, let's pick up the chairs. Um, let's see. I think we determined that we want to hit this with the pick. Actually, let's start from the very end and work our way back out. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. That way we don't miss anything. Shaka Messiah Crate. What? Oh, a cooling mesh. Oh, that's awesome. Because the leather armor doesn't have any protection from uh, weather. So that is really good. Let's, um, let's do this. We're going to put that guy away and bring this guy out so we're not uh, constantly switching things out. Nothing. Okay. Um, get some metal. We need all the metal we can get. Get some electrical parts. Stupid zombie wrecked my TV. That was not nice. Ooh, we got a magazine. Oh, and a plastic plating? I've never seen one of those before. What is that? It's a tier two Prove your armor rating with this plastic can oh ho, 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 ho. oh that'll be great it'll prove your armor rating 
with light armor, which we have. So that is freaking awesome. Okay, we already looted that one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy. Get a couple more electrical parts. Uh, the electrical parts are a lot harder to get because you don't get as many of them from cars. I think we got glass. Oh, we can, we can scrap that and scrap that. That'll get us unencumbered a little bit. That is awesome. Uh, that'll help. Like, we could go ahead and install that right now. Uh, luckily, you can have more than one mesh. Like, uh, I was able to put heating and cooling mesh in my helmet. Uh, so, we should be able to put that straight away into one of our pieces of armor. That'll help a little bit going through some of the um, different biomes and such. I know we have a hoodie. It's worth 30. Uh, 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 uh. Probably going to be full up. Anyway, let's get all the metal we can. I'm really, uh, I need to go up and you got something? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, I like it. Need some water. Um, every time we make the... Okay, we already looted all the kitchen up. Found the supplies. Excellent. Um, every time we make the glue, we are losing jars so it's good to to loot those up at least i think it is oh a medicine cabinet <clears throat> okay we're definitely gonna want to take apart this bed because we need all the springs like that's one of the uh, things we have the least of so we definitely want to make sure we get as much as we can when we can. Oh yeah, sports bag, another flashlight. That's okay because um, we need to just make sure we keep all of the helmets that we can and the flashlights because freaking mining helmets, a good mining helmet sells uh, extremely well. Oh, let's. Let's not forget to take apart this uh, little TV. There we go. Awesome. Um, I guess we can swap this out with the shovel. And get rid of that broken glass. And... Because I'd still like to... You know, that saves me from having to make this stuff myself. Oh, did we loot? We already looted that. It's just good. Uh, we might even hit up the dirt in the front. Um, forgot about you. Couches and stuff. Oh, didn't even see the washing machine. Um, let's go ahead and scrap these up because we're, we're running low on space now. Uh, but we do have the ability to put things in our bike. So we need to take that into consideration too. We might not need to scrap as much. Um, I don't think these are like... Uh, I think I've taken them apart before and they're not as good as like a refrigerator... A refrigerator is really good to take apart. Oh, dude. I did not take apart the refrigerator. Uh, ovens are good to take apart, too. I'm just... Uh, might be able to get certain things out of them, but... I'm thinking about how many items you get out of them for the whole thing. See, look at that. We're getting metal... And we're getting electrical parts and all kinds of stuff. So, these are really good. 
And I don't know that the microwave, but the oven, the oven was also really good. Uh-oh. There we go. Well, let's check the microwave out. I don't remember. We get an electrical part already, but it's not a whole lot. So I guess if we got time, it's good. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, I'd really like to get that dirt outside. This big pile of dirt right here, or at least a good chunk of it. We also need to make sure we hit that munitions crate. There we go. Let's make sure we get that. Oh, this takes forever, and I'm out of coffee. I can't sip while I'm waiting. Oh, um, yeah, we got room. Sweet. Okay, um, and we still have an empty slot. So good, because I, I wanna, I wanna loot some of this dirt. I know it seems weird. But dirt is precious when you're in a snow biome uh, because the top is covered in snow, not dirt. So snow is an abundance, but not dirt. And dirt stacks up to 6,000, so we can do quite a bit of this without it, you know taking up more than one spot, which is good. We'll just level it off. Well, I'm not gonna like dig down or anything. Just figure we could grab it real quick because um, it's two hits to break this and it's not gonna be like a huge thing. Uh, I think most of the stuff in that chest should stack up with what's already in our inventory since we did take, you know, a few things apart in the house. Awesome. Getting our dirt. Look at how much experience that is. I mean, it's, it's not that much per dirt, but once you clear away, you know, quite a bit of it, it's so it adds up. Awesome. So now we can head back to the trader. <coughs> Since we have um, the mini bike, it's going to make it a lot easier to get around. Let's see. Oh. So we can't quite store everything. Um. What we might do is we'll just take our little mini bike. Why won't you go down? There we go. We'll place it down and then we'll throw in things like these wrenches and flashlights and stuff like that. Uh, and then we should be able to grab the rest of this. And then head back to the house. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty good. I mean, I, I really like it when it takes us to the different um, POIs that we've never been to before. But um, we're starting to, you know, go into a few of the more common ones, I guess. know that I want to go across that ditch. Let's just kind of go around here. Oh, ran right over that. Ah, oh, nerds. Let me get back on the road up here. I just didn't want to go across the ditch. <laughs> Sometimes the, the motorbikes have a hard time going up those inclines even if it is like a road because the roads are too steep too steep on some of those uh, inclines so, yeah. 
Awesome. We're it looks like we're gonna um, uh, let's head to the trader. And then once we get to the trader, we'll throw a couple of items in the mini bike uh, so that we can turn in our quest reward. And we should get there. We'll turn in the quest and what in the episode uh, because it's probably going to be about that time. Let's look. Yeah, we want to go. Just follow this road. It's not very exciting, but it goes all the way there. <laughs> um, it's good to know that there is another set of towns, so that'll give us something to maybe go and explore in search of like another trader or something. <clears throat> because those, um, all these quests are independent to the trader you can never have more than like one quest from a trader but if there are more than if there's one more than one trader you can have more than one quest so that's pretty good too not that you know you can really do very many at once but you could take you know if you had like in that first town, oh, the first map that I had was awesome. Um, it had a town that had like five traders around the outside of it. It was amazing. <laughs> I really wish, you know, because I really, that's one of the things I love about um, this game. And when I was playing War of the Walkers, I that was like one of the things that I loved was that it added a trader to like almost every single town. If you found a town, there was a trader in it. And I would just like go and I would loot and I would take my stuff to the traders and sell it and I had a really good time doing that. Uh, and I'm glad that they've added uh, multiple traders to the maps and made the traders a little bit more relevant to the gameplay. I really like that because uh, that's something I've enjoyed in the game. Is going to the trader, buying and selling stuff. Um, I don't know that I'm happy about... I guess the, the guns, the prices being jacked are really... It makes the tier one weapons worthless. Oh, here we go. I think we want to go... It doesn't really matter which one we go down. Let's go down the one that doesn't have the really big uh, <laughs> part of the mountain we have to go through. That'll make it a little bit easier on us. So we don't have to do that elevation change. Awesome. We're getting close. Um, yeah, let's go down this road up here. That'll get us really close to the trader. Woohoo! Got a little air there. That's awesome. Oh, I can't see. I can't see anything in this fog, but I know... It's after here. Here we go. Okay, so we need to go to the other side over here. And I need to remember to throw something in the bike. Alright, let's get to this little flat area right here. Hop off. And oh, let's throw this stuff in there. Okay, and that gives us four or five empty slots. Oh, I had cotton on me. I didn't realize that. I could have turned that into cloth. There we go. We got four slots. Let's go see what he's going to give us. Because it's uh, after time to end the episode. <coughs> there we go. Oh, God, a customer. Here you go, friend. Whatever you need. Oh, um... 
this is good to sell look at that 480 coins yeah plus he's gonna it looks like the buried treasure ones give you more um tokens like this one's only 500 where the buried treasure was giving us 2000 so that might be another incentive to do the buried treasure because they do get better money so let's go ahead and take this and then sell that iron chest armor back to him for 480 coins. Oh, yes. There we go. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna yeah, pick up sir. another one before... The only one he has is a buried supply. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this buried supply because he's going to start giving us um, tier two quests tomorrow. So we'll we'll go do the buried supplies in the off chance that we get some dirt, <laughs> hopefully. And I think we have, um, dude, we have a a horde. I thought I saw some zombies going over here. Let's go get them. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them. And we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!